to the front, let the heat pump. Troops on the left, fight to the death. Yeah, Damn, yeah, right. yeah, 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 right. yeah, Wolves yeah, yeah, back, yeah, ready to yeah, protect. yeah. Soldiers in the front. Yo, we got the well famous Ray Corn and Chef peace, in peace, the building. Peace, peace God. All praises, all praises. How you feeling? I'm great, brother. I'm great. I feel good. I feel blessed. I feel Yo, do you, strong. Do you ever get tired, though? Yeah, but like, real I, talk. Ain't, I ain't tired right now. You ain't though. tired nah, right now. Nah, Hell no. It's too much work to do. See, one thing, you know, you become tired when you don't have a lot to do. You right. know what I mean? Right. I think when you have a lot to do, you just want to just, you know, keep achieving and, and striving, though. That's what it's about. That's what it's up. I want to uh, say thank you for yesterday. Yesterday, some of the heavy hitter disc jockeys you. You got a chance to Word up. preview the, the purple yeah. tape, Part a.k.a. Two. Uh, Cuba Links Part Two, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I mean, real talk. It was just, yo, you ain't skip a beat. And I just wanted to thank say you, that, thank you, right here on the show. That's you know, big you know from I, you enough. You know, I real. told you that yesterday. You ain't skip a beat. It's just like you never left. No doubt. The production's ill. Thank you. You know, Scram got joints. Dilla got joints. Yeah. Um, uh, Jizz's son, what's his name? Yeah, Little Kareem. Little, Little Kareem. He got a joint on there, right? Yeah, Little Kareem. We gave him a shot. Wow. Yeah, I'm not mad. I'm feeling yeah. the way it's going down. Rizzo no did a joint, right? Rizzo got some joints up there. You know what I mean? Like I said, you know, we went and got back. We went and um, picked up Molly Maul, the legend. The, yes. The one who got us all started. Yes. You know, he felt like he had something in that chamber that Rizzo, that Rizzo took us in, and um, he stepped to the bar and stepped it all the way up, like. I wasn't. It wasn't shocking to me that Marley Mall is ill, but he is ill. Like it's I'm still. talking about people that got passions for for strong content, music, and just being a producer. Like he never lost it, so it was good to step in in the chamber with him. Though, is that uh, me- is the message true? I'm Raekwon is like I'm doing me. Yeah, this music is my music. No question. Either fuck with it or don't fuck with it. You is that, is that the message or is it? My nigga, all it is is just basically is just is raw hip hop, man. I think that we're not doing people, the candy hooks. We're not doing none of that. I mean, you know, you got certain things for certain people. You know what right, I mean? For right. me, I come from a strong era of, of that '90s music, and I'm only what what I was, what I what I created myself exactly. to be. I'm going to stay being who I am. I think that the real hardcore fans, the real hip hop fans. They would never want to see Ray change. Right. You know what I mean? And I would never try to change just to deal with what today is. All I could do is be me. So, you know, it is what it I is. I felt real happy hearing your music yesterday. It made no me doubt. feel a certain way. No question. That's good. You know That's what I'm saying? Good. My man Quiz was there. Like, real yeah. talk. I'm in heaven, And though. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Like, mm-hmm. my he man, don't like everything. My, my man works at um a very powerful radio station with me. Okay. All okay. right? And um, he done seen everybody walk through the building. Mm-hmm. And to him, it's like, man. Eh. Yeah. yeah. And then we hang with the God. And then before you know it, <laughs> he's like, I'm in heaven. <laughs> uh, that's real. He I'm being real, composure. man. That's real. The I do like ones. the song. Um, I don't know the name of it, unfortunately, uh-huh. um, where you talked about the old school. You was like, um, uh, it's on your album. You uh, was, was reminiscing about. Um, no, that's the joint I did, the tribute, the, the dirty. Oh, yes. The uh-huh. tribute to Dirty, you know, like I said, you know, I wanted him to be here for this record because he been he been so much an inspiration to me enough. It's like I really had to realize like what kind of power this man put in all of us, you know? Mm-hmm. And for me to know that he's gone, it's like he's still right here with me, my nigga, for real. Oh, like I'm real spiritual, you know, now. A Muslim, you know what I mean? I kinda I kinda took my life into another aspect because I, I realize our blessings is important. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when, when the father came and got him, it was like, it was for all the wrong shit we did as a crew, like, by not really loving each other the way we need to. Right. But, you know, he snatched him, and it's like, when I thought about it, like, wow, this the nigga that took me off the block for real. This the nigga that gave RZA the power to feel like RZA, to make them yes. kind of beats and, you know, make Wu-Tang walk like that like that crew that we once was back in the 90s. Like, he started this shit. Talk about, you know, you're, you're Muslim and, and, you're, and you're preaching things different, you're, you're even thinking things different. What about the rest of the family? Is it is it easier for you now to be as a, a true, true fam? Because you you did say you guys were assembled and, yeah. you know, everybody has their own individual chambers. I mean, we, we, we go through things, man. I mean, like it, it's, it's a love-hate relationship. Exactly. It's like a regular family, like like a brother that, that you really can't fuck with, but that's your brother. Mm. You know, like, for mm. some reason. Because one thing we got caught up into is 
the fact that we've been doing it so long, like some are not as happy as others, you know what I yes. mean? And, and that becomes uh, something that you got to deal with in the crew, like, yo, do he think I got him where he at or, you know what I mean? So sometimes we go through that, but it's still unconditional love, but the next man is definitely looking at the next man who's winning and he's not winning. Right. You know, and it been sometimes where it feel like, you know, for instance, if the people is playing my music, you know, that may affect the next brother in the crew. Yes. And he'd be like, yo, I ain't getting no love, so now he don't like me now because he may think that, yeah. you know, it's just little shit, just little hood nigga shit, you it know? It sound like that. It sound like my heavy hitter DJ crew, too. That's the, that's what, it but see, just, that's it people, my just nigga. like that. But, but, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, we know that it's real love. We may go through all the hell or whatever it's with each love. other, but it's still all love. It's like, what I want for me, I want for him, but he may have to work as hard as I'm working. Like, yes. no man is going to get it the way he want it because he feel like he can get it like that. It's about what you do. You got to work. So, you know, we constantly go through arguments or whatever, but the last couple of years, we haven't been arguing. We've been really going out on the road getting that paper and just keeping it cool but when we get back to the bricks it's like i never see my brothers no more so long as i know they all right they you know they not hurting nobody's in bad health you know what i mean everybody's okay i'm cool with that i i wait to see you when i see you okay because sometimes that's the best thing you could do is like one thing about woo we never hung together right even though everybody knew us for rolling together and being a family when we walked away from the job it was like yo i got my own niggas right you know you don't fuck with my niggas ray you know what i mean and i don't fuck you know what i mean that's how it always been but ah. everybody but to the world it was like Wu Tang be together every day. Wu Tang be eating up in the same restaurant. So it never was like that. It was, it was, and it's not fronting. It's just that, like I said, you know, when y'all see us Yo, come I through swear. 150 deep. This sound like my crew. It's not like it's the, the crew. You know why niggas, all, all crews be like that? <laughs> yeah, it's niggas, nah, B. It's crew. But at the end of the day, you know, one thing I could say enough is that, you know, you have groups that break up so early, man. It's like we managed to stay together for like 15 years. Yes. You know, if the fans said they wanted an album, we did it out. We made it our business to give y'all an album, regardless of the right. personal feelings or right. whatever. Right. I know I took pay cuts. This nigga took pay cuts to make it all come back to life for the fans because right. that's the most thing that Wu Tang is always going to be devoted to is the people that got us here. Right. You got three joints from Jay Dilla. Mm. Fire. And we was we was bugging on that yesterday. We was like, yo, not one, not two, but three. Yeah, and I got them officially though. You know what I mean? From I did some research and make sure that the mm -hmm. family is everybody's taken care of. You know what I mean? Dope. You know, I think that was the first thing I wanted to just get his family blessings. Mm -hmm. You know, Buster was the one that actually put the bridge together with the Jay Dilla connection. Mm -hmm. And you know, Buster's like my man. That's like my brother. You now, know. did you get those songs before he passed or after? Yeah, yeah, before. Okay. Well, the one that we getting ready to release, which is called The House of Flying Daggers, which is my next single, um, that one I actually had an opportunity to talk to the brother, and he was excited to be involved with the project. And he like, yo, I'm a big fan of you, Ray, and, you know, I made this one. I carved this one out for Wu, you know. So I'm like, yo, you hit it on the head. Glad to rock with it, baby, and... Next thing you know, you know, my brother went to the, you know, he went to the heavens. Mm -hmm. But, you know, my thing is to keep him here and, and, and let his music be heard. You know what I mean? I think that's the most important thing is we're going to keep his legacy popping.